I'm Jay Holloway. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are in for a treat. This is going to be another edition of Friend Mail. Today's Friend Mail is brought to you by the lovely Jennifer Latifa. Her Instagram and her YouTube channel is Perfume Collection and Reviews. I believe. I just always know her as Jennifer. But if you know, then you know. Anyway, we were discussing back and forth about some scents. And then I won a giveaway that is also going to be on this channel. And she decided to include some decants of some scents we talked about. So today we're going to smell those scents. So stay tuned. The first one is going to be in none other than the good old Delina Exclusive. Now, a lot of people go up for Delina. If you watch my videos, you already know how I feel about her. But, you know what? And let me just say this. That's not to say that Delina is a horrible scent. Delina is a lovely scent. However, the way people hype her up is just nice. Anywho, Delina Exclusive is said to be better. Ooh. <sighs> Sweet and jammy. Spicy too. I actually like Delina Exclusive more than I like Delina. Now, Delina, again, isn't bad. But the way I like to see her is um, through the lens of another YouTuber, Deborah Day. She said Delina is like a garden party scent. And I agree. Always put together. Always with a pencil skirt. Always with a nice bag. On time. Always in place. Not to say that Delina is bad, but she's just plain, in my opinion. Delina exclusive is sweet, a little bit of spice, just something different. Still a rose scent. We know she's related to Delina, just more so like the younger, spicier sister. And I can appreciate that. I actually found a fragrance that's somewhat similar to Dealing the exclusive called Rose Omni D by Atelier de Ors. I love it. But that was Dealing the exclusive. It's really nice. I can't wait to try this on skin. I know I'm going to like it. But on to the next. Another scent that Jennifer and I were discussing was the Armani Privé um, Rouge Malachite. And I said I sniffed it in Neiman Marcus, and it was okay. I wasn't wild. And she said she felt that same way too, but tried on skin. Now, spoiler alert. I have sniffed this before in store. I have sniffed this on paper, and I have sniffed this on my skin. I say all that to say that she is right. It is different on skin, and I want it. But, you know what, we're going to spray it here. And it's like a creamy white floral. Like a creamy, milky, jasmine, tuberose, gardenia mix. Just like a nice, creamy, lactonic, white floral juiciness but it comes in a red bottle. And if I do get it, it'll be my third Armani Privé scent. But something about it just, it's so nice, like I have to have it. And then I like Jasmine, so there's that. And I like Tuberose. This is a nice one. It's a really good one. So that is Rouge Malachite. We got two more. 
right, so this next one is called The Chronic. Now, if you are into fragrances, then you know this one has been talked about, raved about, hyped up, beloved by damn near everybody. But I wanted to smell it. And this is The Chronic by Byron Parfums. I don't know anything about this house. Never smelled anything. When I hear The Chronic, I think about Dr. Dre. And I also think about the green stuff that you smoke. So we're going to both see what this is giving. So here we go. Oh, and here it is. Okay. Indifferent. I guess it's going to be better on skin. And for those of you who say you have to try it on skin. I know you guys. I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. But in order for you to make it on this on this skin, you got to pass the paper test. And it doesn't stink. But I don't... I'm indifferent. Like, I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's not a hardcore no. But I'm not sold either. Ugh. I'm gonna really have to revisit that. So far, I'm just underwhelmed. But we're gonna move along to another Byron Parfums release. And this is a fairly new release. So this one is a Moolah Moolah Rouge Extreme or a Rouge Edition. I'm not exactly sure. If this, this is a Mula Mula, this is the second one, whatever that's called. I haven't smelt the first one, so again, this is going to be new to both of us. So here we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. Oh, mmm. It didn't want to spray, but oh. Mm. Oh, Lord, it's leaking all over the place. That's all right. It smells nice. doesn't smell bad. It smells like candy or like a fruit roll-up. No, fruit by the foot. Okay, I'm probably going to be dating myself. And if you are at a certain demographic, you know what I'm talking about. So you know how I used to be in school and you will get the fruit by the foot and just roll it around your thumb and just put it in your mouth and suck your thumb with that? This is what Moolah Moolah Rouge edition is giving me. It's nice though. Like I would like to compare the original Moolah Moolah 
to this recent release, Mula Mula. Like it's sweet. And people say it's a gourmand, but it's just giving me sweetness. I like, I like it. Now, I don't know if I would buy a full bottle myself. But I like what's on this paper. I like it a lot. I like it more than I like the chronic. Don't come for me. But yeah, this has to be worn on skin before I say yay or nay fully. And one thing I know I need to do is come back and give y'all updates, but I filmed this video today and then like four weeks later, I'll just randomly decide, let's try out one of those samples and then go through them. And then I'm like, I don't even think to record. So then it's like, you know what? Out of those, I only like really one. But the way I operate and work is so unorthodox and so strange. But that's neither here nor there. Jennifer, thank you so much for sending these to me. I truly do appreciate it. This is giving me a chance to experience some of all the rage that's in the fragrance community right now. If you are watching this, go subscribe to her channel. She has a plethora of scents. She is the unofficial Dua spokeswoman. She's lovely and sweet, and you'll love her. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for my next video. I'll see you later. Ooh. This smells good. <laughs>